at the Crick Eye and remember it, so you don't have to. I just realized I was late for my review, so I'm literally making this up as I go. I apologize, but I've been watching a few episodes lately, and we are going to review Doctor Who. Specifically, the Doctors themselves. Not the failed, not anything like that, no. The Doctors just being the Doctors. We're going to go on a limb for any Doctor you like. And if you like a certain Doctor, please tell me in the comments below. And I will promise to make a next review about them. Your choices are the 1st, the 2nd, the 3rd, the 4th, the 5th, the 6th, the 7th, the 8th, the 9th, the 10th, the 11th, the 12th. Now, Peter Capaldi, the 12th, or quote-unquote 13th almost, I like him-ish, but the one who really grabbed me was David Tennant. I don't just tell me about a guy with a British accent. I begarro. No, it's Irish. Jelly good old gav. But I can do a good Irish accent. Aye, he depicted the morning to you, my boy. But like I was saying, if you like any doctor, please tell me. Because I don't know, I just, I just specifically like David Tennant. And I guess a lot of people have because he's gotten a lot of, and for the right reasons, cult followings over the years. Specifically as being Scrooge J. McDuck. And for being on Jessica Jones. I know nothing about that show. Or who he plays, but I know he played Doctor Who. I know that. He played David, he played the 10th Doctor. And they even played on Disney XD. That's the first place I saw it. It was something with TVs coming out of people's heads or something. I don't really remember, but it was a good episode. Very technological. Speaking of things technological, next week we're going to be talking about the lizard of Spider-Man. So tune into that, and next week we're going to be talking about the Joker and why I think there is not just one, but different universes with the Joker. I'll explain later. Bye.